Today's team composition is absolutely golden because we're gonna use three Pokemon in the same team that have their shiny variants look absolutely gold. So let's see what is going on here since we're gonna use a pal shine on the closing part. So now without any further ado, cue the intro. Let's begin now today's content with Azumarill up in front as known as Golden Egg. This Pokemon is gonna take over the lead options against any other lead Pokemon on the Great League format and that's mainly because a lot of trainers are not prepared for Azumarill right now. Anyways, Hydro Pump to begin of the video with a nuke, but they managed to block anyways. I should have expected this because a lot of Charm leads tend to go ahead and even double block their Pokemon because uh, they want to have the alignment for sure with the backline. So here comes now the complete farm down from that Ninetales. I know though that I need to throw my Bond Slam no matter what here to take them out before they reach to another move and since now they are shieldless I can rely on my Palosan for the end game. Unfortunately for them they were not prepared at all for my Palosan here so we managed to destroy down this toxic team with a high horsepower up against Bastodon and one Avalanche later for the Tropius. So Bastodon goes down, Tropius returns, but the Avalanche is already ready to go, able to one shot once again that final Pokemon and we managed to get a pretty cool victory to begin the video with our Golden Fleece. Into the next battle and the Golden League is coming up on that switch. I know that the term Golden League might be kinda weird, but still look at that, it is golden and it leaks, so how else can you uh, nickname it, because yeah, it is a pretty straightforward nickname for this one. So Bond Slam now on the exchange here and of course the leaks will be resisted but at this point Leak Tank stands absolutely on the bulkier format and the bulkier side I mean of Great Leak. So Leaky Leak is still gonna provide some extra pressure with those Bond Slams and the leaks but at the same time they can do the same so they eventually will finish us off. Now that my Palosan can go in, I have a weird feeling that if I can block just once I might actually be on a very good spot and absolutely farm down. But my opponent here knows much better able to get to the Bond Slam and hopefully not for the Power Whip right after so we still manage to get the complete farm down. Avalanche now is gonna connect I guess on that Whiskas for a little bit of extra damage and I get the chance here to get that shield back. So now that we're both even on shields, I'm just gonna switch out to my Azumarill, but as it seems they have the upper hand here with a charge bug because the discharge is coming up, but still we can hope and pray that this player up will get that shield out of, get out of the game. However, my opponent is absolutely outplaying me over here and since I'm not in the mood in going ahead and using a shield, I'm just gonna rely on my Palosine, but I guess that they're kinda spammer me so I'm just gonna let that move go through and let them uh, farm it down since I do not have a lot of chances on this one. I absolutely made some horrible mistakes otherwise that very bad lead could still be kinda good for us. Into the next battle now with the Umbreon up in front. Of course we're gonna get ahead on that player off since they are, they are coming out of that switch which means that we can have the slight energy advantage and we can throw much earlier than them. So now that they are gonna throw the first energy points I'm just gonna switch out to my golden leak since I want to go ahead and push a lot for that body slam. So they're gonna get a little bit low after this and I know that I can rely on my kinda battle Pokemon here to go ahead and survive the following moves. So if you want to uh, have a different version of this team, a much, mo much more meta version, I mean, you can always rely on a Leaky Tank as a safe switch instead of Leaky Leaky, but I guess I wanted to have a complete golden team, that's why I'm just gonna use this exact Pokemon. Also, this is not even my best Azumarill, since it doesn't have the best IVs possible for that Great League format. This is my Azumarill from the era where uh, Excels were not even a thing back then. So anyways now able to have the two shield advantage for the end game and Palo Swan with those two shields can absolutely start cooking. 
So foul play can easily be taken. I'm not gonna spend some seals yet because I'd rather hit by a foul play rather than something like a lunge or the energy ball, who knows. So here comes now another move from my end to theirs. Avalanche now is gonna drop them severely low at a point that we can farm down before they do anything weird. High horsepower now for the nook. Look at the crazy damage output. This was neutral damage on their end and this is not even a shadow Pokemon at all and eventually we can easily farm down with the Powder Snows. Medicham is a Pokemon that used to beat down especially the non-Excel version of Azumari like the one that I have over here but still they're gonna switch out no matter what because Psychic goes nerfed and now Medicham doesn't have much play. So Bomas Noon now on the switch and especially the Shadow cannot withstand the damage of a single uh, Avalanche. So I'm just gonna take the second move because I have a feeling that this is not gonna be another energy ball, just the weather ball from the red. So I'm just gonna keep going at it with the Avalanches and once again we can have the upper hand over that Bomas Snow with uh, that Sealed Flex that we can get it till the end game and especially when Azumarill as it seems might be a very good Pokemon for the closing part. Now that they're gonna use their weather ball, I will try to completely farm down with those leaks, but at the same time I try to catch on my Azumarill and this is not gonna work that well for me. Now that Swambert is gonna come into the battle, I might actually have a great chance at beating them down over here because they are shieldless. Here comes now the big boom with the Hydro Pump and of course right after by completely uh, shielding down the nook move that they're gonna throw, we can easily farm them down in return. So now Medicham is coming in, once again I have a non-excel version of uh, Azumarill which means that a couple of psychics might actually do the trick over here. I need to be extra careful so I need to throw right straight ahead when I get there so down they go. So Ambert is just gonna follow the same fate one bubble later so here is another big victory for my team. Wigglytuff, much like that Ninetales from the beginning of this video, is gonna be a Pokemon that is gonna have a backline that definitely relies on that alignment, so I'm just gonna go at it with the Hydro Pump right straight ahead and see how they react. They want to take the move which is absolutely awesome for me and now they're gonna come into the battle with a Lantern. So this is still looking pretty good and the reason I'm not throwing my ground type up against the electric type is because they have access to surf which is still gonna do so much damage on my end. It doesn't matter, the battle is definitely not over yet and I need to go ahead and uh, push them to their limits with those couple of avalanches because I can always get my hands either to the high horsepower or even something like a stone edge. So high horsepower now is coming up, they are gonna block which is something I was hoping they would not do because now my Leaky Leak is gonna take so much damage from those charms. The only real way to uh, face this situation is to go ahead, farm up as much as possible and try to snipe them down with the earthquake before they reach now to that surf. To my surprise, we can get there to the Earthquake, but unfortunately for us, it is not gonna be that good overall because they can still survive and Leaky Leaky doesn't have that much of a great attack stat. So it doesn't matter, into the next battle and we get a very good lead scenario up against the Gaslord. For some reason, they want to throw some energy here, I don't know why, but still they want to switch out right after to the Shadow Fair Alligator and this is a perfect timing for me to reveal my Leaky Leaky because with Gaslord my leaks will not be that effective and of course they can eventually beat down my Pokemon that's why I want to sacrifice Leaky Leaky for the greater good and since right here I get the chance to completely farm down after spending just one shield and keep maintaining that amazing lead scenario that we have I'm just gonna go for it so sometimes bad leads are gonna be extremely good to watch but some other times the good leads are pretty informative as well to see how you can manage manipulate your opponent in doing some more mistakes up against you. So here comes now the player up on the end with the amazing cuts on the skeletons that was well done executed as you can see. So here comes now my player up once again to start getting the shield out of play. So now that, they're, that uh, they're getting super low, I know that I can easily block that Shadow Ball and before they reach to another move, I can absolutely go ahead and throw my next player off. They're kind of 
obliged in using the remaining energy that they have and it has to be the sound ball so right after I want to completely farm down with my powder snows hopefully here they're gonna reach just to the disarming voice and now that we are absolutely clutch on the end game we can get to the avalanche for the one shot up against the dragon type into the next one and the final one for the video with the altaria up in front this is another great lead for us but we do not have ice beam instead we need two of those play roughs so it can still be kinda close especially when we are having a non-excel version of Azumarill. They do not know this but still you can tell from my uh, stats on the left of your screen. So now Golden League is coming into the game with a bot slam and right after I have a feeling that I can easily survive the following move just a serve and we can still guarantee the knockout with my moves. Not only that but we have two Pokemon remaining that are pretty good against Dragon types so we're just gonna keep going at it. So now with Skarmory coming into the battle I have a feeling that uh, my Paloswine will be afraid of that Steel Wing so we need to be extra careful over here so I will to reverse the alignment so that I can keep the Azumarill over that Skarmory. This is an ABA team style since they are getting here to that Bravern uh, because they're having the flyer up in front and the flyer at the back. However, my Paloswine will be extra glad to see that uh, Altaria coming in up against them, up against us actually with that Sky Attack able to block it and absolutely farm down in the process. The battle is definitely not over yet though because they still have one shield remaining but we got a couple of avalanches one to get the shield one to guarantee the knockout and we're gonna take a very strong victory to end this video in an amazing tone that is gonna be all for today trainers thank you for watching for sticking around till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you are new to my content and over here i have two more videos to continue your ganeto journey here on youtube so with that said thank you for watching once once again and I hope to see you all into the next one.